This video was brought to you guys thanks to our brand new podcast. Check it out after this video ends. What's up, guys? I missed you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for 5 million subscribers. Here we go. For this video, we were helping Catalina place her boyfriend Jacob to the gold digger test. Jacob is here. This is Jacob. They just met. They just made contact. Okay. See, unfortunately, Jacob doesn't have a job and he's always borrowing money from Catalina, which has caused Catalina to question whether Jacob is truly loyal to her or just with her for her money. Nikki, you ready? Yeah, ready. Okay, you can go ahead and start heading down. Okay, game time, guys, game time. So the way that we were gonna help Catalina find out if Jacob was actually loyal to her was by having our friend Nikki ask Jacob on a date. Okay, now full disclosure, this video is quite possibly the most intricate video that we have ever done. There is a lot that's gonna be happening and there is a lot that you guys need to know and understand. So you guys have to pay very, very close attention because every single detail is important. I tried breaking it all down for you guys as best as I could, but like I said, you guys still wanna follow along very closely so that you guys don't miss a single thing. So with that being said, let's take it from the top. So the location where Nikki would be asking Jacob on a date would be at this Hollywood home that we rented out. Now this home was a three-story home. On the second story of this home, we built a set for a fake couples game show that we created and called, How Well Do You Know Me? In a room near the set, we also set up the game show prizes, which amounted to over $25,000 worth of items. See, we had to find a way to get Jacob to this house without him knowing the real reason why we wanted him here. So that is why we created this game show, made Nikki the host of the game show, and instructed Catalina to convince Jacob to compete in the game show with her. Needless to say, Catalina successfully did so. Like I said, the game show and the prize room were on the second floor of this house. On the first floor of the house, we set up a waiting room. What's the purpose of this waiting room, you ask? Well, we decided to incorporate those cheesy, quote unquote, interview scenes that most reality shows have into our game show, which means that before the game show begins, Nikki has to individually interview both Catalina and Jacob on how they think they will perform in the game show. As Nikki interviews one, the other will wait in our waiting room. Now on the third floor of the house, we set up our command center. This was where I would be stationed, and this would also be where Catalina would be able to listen in to Nikki asking Jacob on a date, thanks to one of the cameras downstairs feeding us a wireless live feed. Jordan, Jordan, double checking if you can hear me. Jordan, are you there? Yes, sir. Oh, okay, here we go, okay. Yep, how's the live feed look? Oh, the live feed looks great. Hey, Catalina and Jacob, right? Yeah. Nice to see you in oh, person. Thank you so much for coming. Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All right. So the game show set is gonna be upstairs. All right. You can come follow, follow me. How are you? I'm great. How good, are you? good. Okay, so you might be wondering when Nikki would ask Jacob on a date because she obviously can't do so with Catalina present. How's it going? Good, Catalina. Jordan. So Jordan's gonna be operating all of the cameras. Okay, cool. Okay, so they have made it to the game show set. Nikki would have to make her move when she is by herself with Jacob, and the only time that they're gonna be alone is when Nikki's gonna be interviewing him about the game show. There were two major issues with that though. Number one was that Jacob might not give a genuine response. Like we don't know this, but let's just say that Jacob wants to go on a date with Nikki, but ends up turning her down because he's afraid that Catalina could hear him from the waiting room. Now the second issue with Nikki asking Jacob on a date during his interview scene is that Catalina would be in the waiting room and we don't need Catalina in the waiting room. We need Catalina on the third floor in our command center watching and listening in to Nikki making her move. So to address both of our issues, we had Catalina pretend that she had a doctor's appointment to get to immediately after the game show. Catalina, I know you have to go to a doctor's appointment, so what I was thinking is that we can maybe just film the game show first, and then if we have time, we can film the interview scenes after. Um, I don't know if it helps, but we did drive separately. Yeah. Oh, actually, that's perfect. Those of you with a very keen eye probably noticed that Catalina and Jacob actually drove here separately. We had Catalina do this in order to make it more believable that she really did have a doctor's appointment to get to after the game show. See, Nikki usually interviews the couple before the game show. However, this time, she had to make an exception. In order to give Catalina enough time to get to her doctor's appointment, Nikki would have to interview Catalina before the game show, but she would have to interview Jacob after the game show. Could we do your interview first maybe? And then we'll do the game show and then you can get to your doctor's appointment. Would you would you mind staying a little later so we could do your interview? 
Okay, cool. I can actually take you to the room downstairs. That way you don't hear any of her answers. Our plan worked perfectly. We successfully fooled Jacob into thinking that Catalina would be leaving the house during his interview segment. That addresses both of our previous issues. When Nikki asks him on a date, we will now get his genuine response. Plus, we can also now sneak Catalina to the third floor because as you all know, she really won't be leaving for a doctor's appointment. Okay, so this is gonna be the room. Feel free to make yourself at home. Oh. There's a camera right there. Come oh, on it. Really cool. Thank you. It's one of my favorite pieces, actually. I just all right, so right now Nikki has walked to Jacob downstairs to wait while Catalina gets quote unquote interviewed. Yeah, are you good? I'm good. This is this is me. All right, cool. Take a nap. It shouldn't be that long. I'll just do that. We need to kill like five or 10-ish minutes, so I'm gonna relax and enjoy the show and just wait for uh, Catalina to make up her excuse to leave and join me up here. So as far as he knows, we're up here doing the interview. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. So. How was he on the way over here? Was he? Um, well, since we drove separately, I don't I didn't oh, get right, too much right, of a gauge, but like leading up to this, he's been, he totally thinks it's real. Yeah. It. Yeah, he wants to like tell people about it, but I keep telling him, I'm like, let's wait until we like find out if she's actually going to put the episode out. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. All right, cool. So we'll do this for probably like another minute and then she can go with Jacob. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Now, I know we're making everything look easy, but trust me, it wasn't. To ensure that everything would go as smooth as it did, we, number one, planned weeks in advance. And number two, we actually had Catalina show up hours before Jacob arrived to go over our entire plan. Jordan over here is gonna be your camera guy. So this is Jordan right over here. He's gonna be your camera guy. He's gonna be helping you out, hitting record and all that stuff. At the same time, when you guys are in other places, he's gonna be pretending to be fixing the camera, but conveniently moving it to record you guys when you guys like are on that side of the house or something, okay? You got that, Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's do a little practice one, okay? As you all know, Catalina would play an important role in our game plan. So she had to know exactly what would be happening, when it would be happening, and how it would be happening. Any concerns, any questions, anything at all whatsoever? No, it just all like feels real now. So I'm like, like, oh shit, it's been talked for so long. Now we're doing it. Like I said, everything was going as good as it was thanks to all of the planning and preparation that we did. Jacob? Hey. Hey. Did you get a good nap in? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dreaming that I won. <laughs> Dreaming that you won? <laughs> At this point, we've executed about half of our plan, but we still have a couple more steps to complete before Nikki could ask Jacob on a date. The first of which is actually filming the game show. You're ready to sleep. Are you awake enough to do this? He got a little nap in. He got a little nap yeah. in. Yeah. Lucky you. So you better be ready. You better be all Yeah, I know. Seriously. Right? <laughs> so Nikki has gotten Jacob from the room and brought him back into the game show sets, and they are about to begin the show. You guys understand kind of like the concept of the game show, the format of everything, too many questions. Catalina and Jacob are actually gonna film a full entire episode of this game show. It shouldn't take that long, but I'm guesstimating maybe like 20-ish minutes or something. So till then, all we get to do is just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Basically, I'm gonna ask you each 10 questions. If you can get seven collectively right out of the 20 questions, you'll get a prize. The prizes are really good. So let's try to get these right. So Nikki's basically gonna be asking Jacob 10 questions about Catalina. Jacob has to answer those questions while he's blindfolded because Catalina's gonna be writing down the answers to those questions. If what Jacob answers matches up to what Catalina wrote on her whiteboard, then he gets a point. Jacob was under the impression that if he and Catalina could answer seven out of those 20 questions correctly, then they would get to choose a prize from our prize room. We were considering rigging this game show, but we ultimately decided not to, primarily because we made the questions pretty hard. So we're pretty confident that they're not gonna get as many right. Does that all make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Easy enough? Yes. Are we ready to start? Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah? Hey Jordan, remind them that this is a game show. They need some energy. Okay, real quick y'all, just remember, you know, it's a game show. So, you know, it's, you know, high energy, you know, big smiles. Remember, you know, if you're on camera, everyone's gonna be looking at you, so don't do anything. <laughs> Here we go. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome to How Well Do You Know Me? My name is Nikki and my guests today are Catalina and Jacob. This couple is about to find out if they are as compatible as they think they are. 
Catalina and Jacob, are you ready for this? I'm so ready. I'm ready? ready? Yeah. And so with that, our game show begins. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys the entire game show, just like little portions, because it's unimportant. Nothing happens. There's nothing you guys need to know. They're ju it's just a game show. Let's start with Jacob, actually. Get that blindfold on. Now, I'm not gonna lie here, guys. The game show was actually very entertaining. Jacob was surprisingly very funny. So, if our second channel gets 10,000 subscribers, we will upload the full entire game show there. Don't subscribe right now, though. Subscribe after the video ends. All right, first question. What is Catalina's zodiac sign? Hold on one second. She'll just write it down first. Okay. <laughs> All right, second question. What is Catalina's favorite restaurant? Her favorite restaurant is... Oh, Let's have it. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Again, just so we're clear, I'm skipping through this entire game show because there was nothing important that happens. There was nothing you guys need to know. If you guys really want to watch the game show in its entirety, go subscribe to the second channel because we will upload it there if it gets 10,000 subscribers. All right. You can take your blindfold off. Do I get like extra credit for being so close? I thought that was a very valiant effort from Jacob. <laughs> All right, Catalina's turn now. Let's see how well Catalina knows Jacob. <laughs> All right, Catalina. What town did Jacob grow up in? Uh, San Diego. Um, Gainesville? I don't even know where this is. It's a beautiful place. Where is it? This is in Georgia. So with that being said, I'm just gonna fast forward to the end of the game show. Spoiler alert here, Catalina and Jacob do not win. They come very, very close, but they do not win. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, five out of 20, we don't get a prize today, but I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of How Well Do You Know Me? My name is Nikki. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Yeah, I know we're on a time crunch. Yeah. Uh, let's get these release forms yeah. signed real quick. Yeah. If y'all can sign that, and I know you got to get out of here. Yeah, cool. We got to get your interview, so stick around. Yeah. Jacob, you can quick. sign the forms too now, though. So with the game show now complete, the time has come for Catalina to make her exit, which she must do in a very realistic manner. To continue making everything believable, we made some fake release forms for the game show for Catalina and Jacob to sign. So these are some pretty generic release forms. Like I said over the phone, this is all just more of a formality. I'm barely yeah. starting this channel, so I'm just trying to make everything pretty legit. They're pretty self-explanatory, but if you have any questions, I'm right here. If you just want to check that open. Yeah, perfect. Sure uh, I can, I can you can do it? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're about to make our way downstairs right now. After they finish signing the release forms, you guys will know exactly when. You guys will see when. 500 for participating today. Well, damn. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. <laughs> All right. And then, Jacob, you're still good to stay, right, for your interview? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, Jordan, remember, when Nikki walks Catalina out, you have to seat uh, Jacob on the couch. Nikki walks Catalina out the front door as Jordan grabs Jacob and seats him in the couch where he will be interviewed. Catalina is exiting the house, but she won't be leaving. Instead, she will be slipping back into the garage where our homie Yokes is waiting for her. Unfortunately, there's no cameras in the garage because we ran out of cameras, but that is where she is and that's where she'll be for the next five or so minutes until my team and I head downstairs to retrieve her. Okay, now here's the thing. There's only one way up, and that is through the game show set, which happens to be where Jacob also is. Dang, dog, I was rooting for you, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was rooting for you, brother. So our goal now is to move Jacob outside so that he doesn't see Catalina coming upstairs. Now, how are we gonna do that, you ask? Well, we're gonna have Nikki show him the prize room. We usually don't film the interviews out of order like this. So like right now, just pack up when you do the game show. Dang, Jacob, what happened? I was so excited about these prizes. Like, I really wanted you guys to win. Me too. Do you want to come check them out? And then we can start the interview after. Here, come on. Come on, come on. Let's, yeah. let's go ahead and just torture me <laughs> a little bit with regret. Are you ready for this? Check this out. No. Yeah. Come on, come inside. No. Get a feel don't for all this. this. Yeah. Man. I know. I'm, I'm in full regret. <laughs> 
Okay, now I know what you're thinking. But Sergio, you said you were going to take Jacob outside. The prize room is in the house. How's he going to get outside? Well, hold on, people. Watch how Nikki uses the prize room to take Jacob outside. I was going to say there's actually one more prize, but it was just too expensive. So oh, I decided to keep it for myself. You want to see it? It's, it's downstairs. No, 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 it's oh. outside. Oh. Yeah. Okay. This one's really cool. Yes, Nikki supposedly tells Jacob that there's one more prize that she decided to not give away, and that prize happens to be outside. So I was gonna make this a prize for the game, but then I thought it was way too expensive, so I decided to keep it for myself. But I wanna show you, I'm so excited about it. Now, can you guys guess what that prize is? If you guys guessed a 2017 Audi R8, then you guys are 100% correct. This vehicle was graciously lent to us by SMG Auto Brokers, and we used it to get Jacob out of the house. So with Jacob now outside, it was now safe for us to retrieve Catalina. All right, now I know what you're thinking. But Sergio, if Jacob goes outside, wouldn't he be able to see Catalina's car? No, he won't because we're actually on a hill and we had Catalina park at the very bottom of the hill for that very reason. We didn't want Jacob to go outside and be able to see her car. Trust me, people, we think of everything here. <laughs> we really, really do. But okay, Nikki had to keep Jacob outside for at least five minutes, but the longer the better. Oh, oh you sit way up the yeah. top of my yeah. grandma. Yeah, I am pretty short. <laughs> to ensure that Nikki would be able to keep Jacob outside long enough for us to get Catalina upstairs, we had Clyde from SMG Auto Brokers give her a rundown on the vehicle. Okay. Press the red button. Woo! There you go. Oh my God. Press the gas pedal a little bit. Don't accidentally put it in drive and drive directly <laughs> into the trash can. That'd be good if she crashes it because I'm trying to get rid of it. So Nikki, they are going to be telling you about the car right now. Just in case okay. Jacob asks you anything about it, you gotta know about the car, okay? okay. You, got, you got a pen, you're gonna take some notes? <laughs> yes. The 2017 Audi R8. 2017 Audi R8. V10. V10. And that's it. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Okay. How much would something like this be? Brand new, the car's a 2017, so brand new, it's about 185-ish. <laughs> Yeah. How fast? What's the fastest this car can go? Like, how fast? Uh, too easy, 200. I've done a little bit over. 200? In Mexico, <laughs> in Mexico. <laughs> Not here. I did 200 in Mexico. So you got it, Nikki? You got everything? Yeah. Okay, what, yeah. Kind, of, what kind of car is this? Um, It's an Audi V8. <laughs> no, close enough. Close enough. Close enough. If you want, you can start the engine. And then just... Oh, press the brake. You can press the gas a little bit. We're gonna stay. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. This yeah. Some, this some fast. It goes so fast. Tyrese. Yep. This is dope. This is so <laughs> Thank dope. you. I got heat to see my butt getting hot. Yeah. Yes, it's sir. pretty nice. This is nasty, bro. Uh, you gotta let me borrow this one day. But if you get sick of this car, you know who to give it to. I don't know about that. This is pretty expensive. <laughs> Nikki used her newfound knowledge to keep the conversation going with Jacob, which gave us enough time to get Catalina upstairs. Here, we'll go back up. You can start up your interview. With Nikki now bringing Jacob back inside, the moment of truth is just moments away. Soon she will begin his interview, and in the middle of that interview, she will ask him on a date, and Catalina will be able to watch and listen in to see if Jacob ends up accepting or declining going on that date. You can go ahead and take a seat. We'll do your interview portion. So basically, I'm just gonna ask you a few questions about you and Catalina. All you gotta do is just give me an honest answer. Easy. Sounds good. And remember, this all was taking place before the game show. Okay. Are we good? Yep. Okay. So technically speaking, Nikki could just ask Jacob on a date, right? Well, she's not going to. Instead, she's actually gonna interview him and use the very last interview question to make her move. First question, how do you expect to do in this game show? I expect to be pretty good. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I expect to be, uh, I expect to be good. The goal was simply to just not make Jacob suspicious. We've gotten this far and we can't blow it by Nikki making her move too quickly. Nikki starts off by asking Jacob some very generic questions about him and Catalina. What percent compatible would you say that you are? I say like 70%. 70% yeah? 70%. Okay. She then moves on to her second set of questions, which are a little bit more quote unquote interesting. 
All right, so for the next portion, I'm gonna be asking you some questions, starting with the phrase, on a scale of one to 10, and you're just gonna answer with a number, one being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Okay, one being the lowest, okay. You got it? Okay. On a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to forget Catalina's birthday? I'm not even gonna lie, that's pretty high up there. I'm, that's like a seven. A seven? To be honest, I'm really bad at birthdays. Like, that's the truth. You don't know your mom's birthday? Yeah, I don't know my own birthday. You know, I don't know your birthday. I don't, I'm bad with birthday. All right, moving on. How likely are you to marry Catalina? How likely am I to marry her? Mm-hmm. God damn. Um, <laughs> likely am I to marry her? That's like, I'd say a five. A five? Only a five? I mean, we haven't been dating that long. I, mean, I, don't, even, I, don't, I don't even think about stuff like that. Like, I don't, I don't, it don't even come to my mind. Like, I'm pretty sure she ain't thought about What's she playing? I can't tell you. It's about? confidential. I'm sure it wasn't bigger than a five. And if it was, then. All right, next question. Okay. How likely are you to lie to your girlfriend? Mm. Am I saying am I to lie to her? Yep. I mean, everybody lies, right? So, I'll say that's like five, too. A five? Yeah. I mean, and because it, it depends on like, like what we lying about, you know what I mean? All right, next question. On a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to take a bullet for your girlfriend? <laughs> That's a 10, that's a 10. Realizing that Nikki was on the verge of reaching her final question, Jordan covertly exits the scene and makes his way upstairs to us, effectively leaving Nikki and Jacob by themselves. Okay, I hope so. All right, last question, you ready? On a scale of one to 10, how likely are you to break up with your girlfriend if it turns out that you don't know her as well as you think you do? <laughs> Jesus Christ, where, where do you get these questions from? I have, it's part of the from? show, I have to ask everyone. You tripping, oh my gosh. Um, i trying to be honest with you. Um, i say that's a six. A six? Yeah. So there's a 60% chance that you would break up with your girlfriend if you don't know each other as well as you thought. I mean, why, why are we together if, we're, if we don't know each other? I mean... No, okay, I, look, I see you don't get it. Let me, let me tell you, let me check, let me check it out. Okay, I like dogs. Okay. And then she's like allergic to them. How are we gonna be together? <laughs> what? Come on, you know what I'm saying. I don't know about that answer. I feel like she uh, wouldn't be pretty happy hearing that. She understands. You sure about that? Man, I'm positive. You're positive? <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, I mean, if you were, then you should take my number. <laughs> wow. Well, because cause you just said you're serious about the whole 60% thing, and we just did the game show, and... I mean... Unless, unless it was all talk, then I, I am so sorry. No, I don't want to break hey, you and your no, girlfriend no, up. Hey, if you want to hey, be together... You're good. You're good. You're good. You're all right. Okay. You know, what, you, what you trying to do? You trying to do something? I mean, only if you want to. I'm not trying to make you do anything that you don't want to do. No, I'm, I'm not down. What's you're down? Mean? You're down to go out on a date? I mean, yeah. You don't. Like, what, are, you, what, are you for real? I'm, I'm for real. So I mean, hard, I'm for real. Yeah. I just want to make sure you're for real. I don't want to force you to do anything no. if you don't want. Like, if you want to stay with her, Nikki. you should stay no, with I'm her. Down. Like, you're good. You're good. Nikki's all good. Like, okay. You can get the number. Okay. It's uh, 323. Hold on one second. One second. Okay. 323. 3, 323. 3. Uh, so, not even a minute after making her move, Jacob accepts going on a date with Nikki completely betraying the trust of his girlfriend. I got you. Okay. In other words, Jacob has utterly and very quickly failed this test. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on all this? I just have like a pit in my stomach right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know whether I want to like go yell at him or just like sit and cry. Like. Mm -hmm. You think that, um, you think it might've been a spur of the moment thing? You think he just said it just to say it or you think? I think if he's that easy to persuade, he'd do it in any situation. Yeah, that's the thing that it was quick. It was yeah. easy, it was, it was fast, it was, so, it was quick. It was so fast for him to just flip the switch. Five seconds ago, he was like, no, we're super compatible, I love my girl. And then, yeah, give me your number, I'll go out with you. Like, what the fuck is that? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah, maybe you should just go down there, maybe hold him down there, maybe just, maybe say you have to double check the footage or something like that. We wanted to give Catalina the opportunity to talk to, or I guess, confront Jacob. So we sent Jordan back downstairs in case Nikki needed some help keeping Jacob there. 
you don't have to go down there and confront him if you don't want to or talk to no, him I or whatever. To. Like you want to. I'd rather do it now than you know. For the last like what hour he's been like all about me and then it just switched so fast. That's what I'm mad about. Yeah. Is that like he just so easily is like yeah I'll do it. Yeah. Like, and then Nikki didn't even have to like pry that hard. No. Nope, and then Nikki gave him an out and was like, dude, if you just want to stay with your girlfriend, like you can. And he was like, nah, give right. me your number. Like, what the fuck is that? That's not okay. And if he's doing it so easily with Nikki, mm -hmm. how do I know that he's not doing it with other girls that he actually already knows? Right. Damn. I just have like a pit in my stomach and like, wow. I'm like more? shaking. Yeah. Do you feel more angry than sad? Sad than angry. Right now, I'm just angry because I'm still fucking looking at his face. <laughs> Like, you so now I'm just mad. It off. Nah, mean, nah, fuck him. Um, <laughs> so you do want to go down there. You do want to yeah. talk to him, confront him. Yeah. You're positive? I'm 100% positive. I've never been more sure. <laughs> I'm more sure about confronting him than I was about that game show. <laughs> like, do you know what you want to say to him? No. You don't? No, we're going to wing it. I'm okay. going to give him, I'm, I'll give him a hot second to like say what he has to say. And then we're going to, we're just going to. We, we, we could give you two minutes if you want to think of something that you want to tell him or something in specific. I don't know. No, um, I'm ready. If you need more you just time, throw me you in. Can, you sure? Yeah. You don't got to do this if you don't want to do no, this. No, I want to do this. You want to I want to fucking do this. Okay. Yeah. Cameras, how are we? Are we pretty much ready to go? So Catalina decides to have a conversation with Jacob, which means that you guys know exactly what time it is. I want to take this opportunity to thank you guys for being here with me today. And I also want to remind you guys to check out our podcast on our second channel after this video ends. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope that it was worth the wait. I hope to see you guys here next time. And most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know. This shit's going to be good. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Is it that hard to stay loyal or do I just like not mean shit to you? What are you, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I mean, tell me like what's going on? Like is this still part of the game show? Like what are you doing? Shit man, I don't know. Is getting Nikki's phone number part of the game show? Yeah, I've been watching everything that just happened between you and Nikki. Bet you were hoping I wouldn't find out, huh? What, what are you trying to do? What, are you, what are you trying to do? I mean, I don't know. You tell me. You don't want busting in here all crazy and stuff. Well, how the fuck do you expect me to come in here when you're basically just cheating on me? What are you talking about? Yo, I did not cheat on you, cat. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Did you or did you not get Nikki's phone number? Did you or not? Did you not agree to go on a date with her? Were you not gonna follow through? How is that not fucking cheating? Look, you need to chill out right now because this shit is not cute. I need chill to out. chill out. Yeah, you need to chill out because you're overreacting and tripping for no reason. How the fuck am I overreacting when you basically just got another girl's phone number and agreed to go out with her? How am I tripping but for no nothing, reason? nothing happened. Like, we were just talking. Like, it was No, all that's talk. complete fucking bullshit. No, is it though? Be real. Because did I kiss her? Did I go on a date with her? Did I do anything with her? I didn't touch her girl at all. No, something would have happened if I didn't walk my ass but in that front door. But nothing did. You're making a big deal for no damn reason. How the fuck is cheating on me not a big deal. That's my point. I didn't. Nothing happened. Like no, I'm pretty sure you knew exactly yeah, what you hey, were doing. We're about to talk about this later. You're, you're making a big deal for no reason. Yeah. Don't you got an appointment to get to? Why the fuck are you still are here? Are you that stupid? You still not get what this is. All right, yeah, but the thing is, nothing happened. Like I did nothing with that girl. You know I don't know that girl. Why are you tripping like this? I put the number in the notes. I have nothing left to say to you. With this girl cat at all. Get the fuck out, please, for once. Just stop being an ignorant piece of shit and get out. Get the, wow, really? Yeah. Get the fuck out. That's yeah. how you want this to go. That's exactly how I want it to go. I, I don't understand. If I had like kissed her or something, you're not listening to me. Nothing happened between me and her. Absolutely nothing. Jacob, get the fuck out.